if I look at what's made Cooley Dickinson Hospital successful, I'm looking at it right now. It's a community that has a, almost a symbiotic relationship with the hospital. We would not be able to have the depth and breadth of skills were it not for this being such a great place to live. And I think in return, Cooley Dickinson provides great care that makes it a better place to live. And so that works back and forth. When I start looking at the, what that's meant in terms of trustees, physicians, nurses, staff, volunteers, the auxiliary, community support, donors, uh, this has been a joy. It's not been a chore. It's been an absolute pleasure to be able to do with all of you what this community needed and to find it so, in some sense, easy to do because of the phenomenal people that are here. Then I look at some other things that we did. We brought Dartmouth in, and they helped us to improve the quality. And um, more recently, we've partnered with Mass General. Uh, I actually think that's going to be a terrific next step. Little known story, uh, when Carol, where is she? There you go. Uh, when Carol and I first met, in, well, actually, no, when we first started dating, say 79, uh, we just started dating, and uh, my dad was <laughs> my, my dad was actually uh, afflicted with uh, melanoma, and it was a scary thing. And um, it actually disrupted one of our first dates. And I went back to Chicago, and um, in the course of things, we uh, I went through watching my dad's surgery and so on. Came back to Boston, where I was working at Beth Israel. And uh, I asked at Beth Israel, my dad's in Chicago, where should he go to get follow-up treatment? And they said, actually, he shouldn't go to Chicago. Uh, he should come to Boston. And I'm at Beth Israel. And they said, at the Mass General Melanoma Clinic. So that's what we did. We brought my dad in. And um, it was a little bit late for him, and it didn't quite take. And when I look at something like that and then look at this community, I always wish my dad had a Mass General Center in Chicago, and he didn't. But we're now bringing the Mass General Cancer Center here for you, so you don't have to go through what my dad did. Um, Terrific outcome for this community. So now I look at where it is that we're headed, and it is hard after 25 years of helping a place to be as good as it is to then turn over the reins and let somebody else do this. I was so excited to meet uh, Joanne Marcuse because terrific person, if ever there were a way that this was going to work with all of the special resources and talents and people who are here, it's going to work because there's a terrific person coming in who can carry things forward. Another little known set of facts. Joanne and I both studied under the same mentor. She was assistant to the president of Beth Israel Deaconess Medical Center, so was I. Then she cut her teeth in operations by heading all the support services at Beth Israel, so did I. Uh, she then went on for some additional skills that I think are going to be terrific for what it is that we need. There's no question that the Cooley Dickinson is going to keep improving in terms of quality with the people who are here and her leadership. She's going to have all the same supports and resources that I have the trustees, the medical staff, the nurses, uh, the employees, the donors, the auxiliary, the volunteers. She's going to have absolutely everything that I've had, even some of my friends, except Carol. <laughs> <laughs> so she may not do quite as well. <laughs> Can't tell you what it's like to have someone who is so supportive throughout whatever you're doing even when it meant lots of nights when I wasn't there, lots of times when she told me how I could do things better, and she was right. <laughs> uh, you can't do better than to have a coach who really cares a lot about you and who's helping you to be successful at every turn. So I'm sorry, Joanne, you can't have Carol. Um, and actually, I intend to spend lots more time with her. We have lots of things to do, and we're going to be doing them together. Um, but we'll be back because we have lots of friends here. And I, I look out and I see lots of friends. Well, yes, I, in many ways I have professional relationships with you. Uh, I have so many friends here because this is such a special place to be. And so I want to thank you, all of my friends, for helping 
me to help this community have the best possible care, and it does. Thank you very much.